sound of the pouring rain And the stream that falls from hill to plain Better than rain or rippling brook There's a mongo beer inside this tub <laughs>It's definitely the quietest, the quietest I've ever seen it. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been getting steadily quieter for years now. But yeah, this is definitely the quietest it's been. I mean, it doesn't help when you've got like um, places like Oceana putting on coaches and basically just taking people straight there. Whereas it used to be somewhere that people ended up rather than somewhere that people went for the whole night. We have got an ongoing thing with uh, Saul Zients company, who are the uh, film production company in America that actually own the rights to it, um, where they actually uh, sued us a few years ago over the rights to use the name and uh, the names of the characters and all the rest of it. Um, it's still technically ongoing because they keep trying to... Um, like, we've basically come to an agreement that they will grant us a license, but they want to give us a license that they can revoke at any time, which we're, we don't want to go for because they could just pull it and we wouldn't have a leg to stand on. I think it'd be a major loss to the Southampton landscape, to like the culture of the city and to like the culture around like Tolkien, you know, because it's, it's a Tolkien themed pub. It's been the sort of thing that I think Tolkien would have loved, and yeah, it's, we're going to lose it, and that's a bit of a shame. It's yeah, silly that like they're still going after it. Like, no one's. It's not harming anybody. It's not harming their their brands. Like, just leave it alone. Like, it's a load of people coming together and having a nice time. The rent increase, really, isn't it? I don't know whether it's justified or not, but it's something that they shouldn't really be forcing onto a business that's done so much over such a long period of time and has such an effect on the community. Yes, I don't know. I think fifteen pounds. It wasn't a lot, but was a little bit because I saw that you know they put on there saying that it could possibly close, and I was like, I don't want this to happen because I love this place. Um, it's it's nice to know like the community's still there, really. Sort of that they well give a shit effectively. It's nice to know that people like still want like, a local to be open. It's quite nice to know that people like at least love this place enough to at least give like a little bit of their own money towards it. But yeah, the lawsuit's more of like a cash grab, which I do understand because it's just trying to protect the established IP that they bought out effectively. So I understand why it happened, but it's to an already established place, so it's a bit like sort of no real point. It's closing. It's effectively trying to close down something that was already there, not something that's trying to spring up to grab money from the release of the movies. I mean, we don't like we don't really want to battle <laughs> with like New Line because you're not going to win that. Like they're Hollywood, we're a pub in England in the south. Like there's not really a lot you can do. So we're just trying to like adhere to what they wanted. Like we didn't win, we didn't lose. We're sort of it's still ongoing, but we're just trying to sort of have like a mutual term of like, well, we are here, things have been said, but at the end of the day, we're still a business. Um, biggest worry is probably just the, uh, what is it, the rent from Punch? Because our rates were set back in 2007, so long before I was here, but that was more of like the pub sort of hype. So like that is like peak performance sort of year sort of thing. So when your rates are set nice and high back then, so it's super affordable then, it's like, yeah, it's fine. But now, as it's starting to like wind down, like the drink culture's gone down a bit, and, like especially in these last few years, I feel it's all out like pre-drinks at home mostly these days, and just coming out for like a quiet one usually. But those sort, uh, those sorts of people coming out, I mean, it's not spending like it used to be. So overall, and like sort of the current climate and everything else, everybody's trying to save a bit more money, aren't they? Um, probably like the environment, to be honest. It's like just the people in it, like all the staff, they're like really friendly, really nice, really helpful. So it's just a nice place to be. There's nothing too like hostile or nothing like really too demanding about it. We, we chase some of the doormen like all the way around the pub and across the bar. I think that's probably like one of my favorite things where we like knock somebody over like the edge of the bar here and like chase them around the pub. That's probably the funnest thing. I like, definitely shouldn't have done it, but I mean, probably the funnest thing I've had in here. Look, it's a lovely pub to work in. I love the people, I love the staff. Yeah, I do love you all. <laughs> yes, let's go with that. It's like family. Terrible dysfunctional family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, well, according to that old deed on the wall around there, it's yep. been here since at least the 1840s. Jesus. That much bloody history. I've been changed for floors. <laughs> Well, I don't know, the floors are reasonably st sturdy. It's weird when they get cleaned, because you'll literally wander in here and you'll look down at the ground and you'll go, the pub's the wrong colour. Why is the pub the wrong colour? Right, gentlemen, as lovely as this is there, I should be doing my job. Yeah, it, it, might, it might be quiet tonight. I think people are starting to save up for Christmas a little bit now. Everyone's feeling the pinch, you know. It, it doesn't 
it doesn't help when people can buy buy a case of beer in the supermarket for a fraction of what it costs to go for a night out. It's not necessarily better. It's just it's, it's just different. I mean, there's nothing wrong with drinking at home, especially you know if you're drinking with mates. Uh, but if you, if you come out, you meet new people. You 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 might come out and see a band that you'd you'd never heard of before that becomes your new favourite band. Just culturally, we. As a, as a society, be poorer for it if, if we lose our pubs, because yeah. they are they are communities and they're meeting places. And to that to that alternative scene and make everyone feel welcome, I think that's the most important thing. Because that's a really rich part of, of our culture is all these different alternative scenes. You'll either you'll either go out with a bang or you'll fade or you'll just fade away. You have to do something that appeals to people to get them in the door, especially now with you know. It, it, like a, pl a place like this where we're not part of a big chain. I mean, we're owned by a pub co, but the, the business itself is just an independent business. We can't compete with the lower prices at some of the big chain pubs, so we have to offer something beyond just the price of our drinks, which I think is what we do with, with the, the music and, uh, and the, uh, the Lord of the Rings theming. A number of times I've seen someone come in here who's just ordered a pint of Foster's or something and the person next to him has ordered one of the co cocktails and as soon as we put this bright blue drink down in front of the other person they'll go, what the hell is that? That's amazing, I'm get I want one of those. <laughs> Especially sort of back in the uh, back end of the summer I was kind of thinking, God am I going to have to be looking for a new job in, in a month's time. Best memories of The Hobbit, best memories of The Hobbit. Um, I mean it was really fun like when they had like sort of gladiator style competition like down in the thing with the great big sort of soft mallets to hit each other with um, but it's mainly been around like the people I've met here just like people that like you wouldn't normally expect to meet like Australian um, airship designers or um, uh, professional uh, stunt fight coordinators or people who make their own chain mail there was um, they were do, they were doing burgers outside as well, so we were eating them and like just getting really drunk. And it was just just a laugh and just a lot of fun, yeah. The um, inflatable uh, rings they put up there with the um, batons, I can't remember what they're called. Gladiator, you know, that's a pretty fun one as well. The difference in the cocktails and the variety behind it, it's a good plan and it makes sense. And then they, there's also the challenges behind those drinks, which leads you to get the T-shirt, the pass, and be able to drink the Nazgul drink. Yeah, I mean, it would be, it would be a, a kick, in, kick in the teeth, that, and proper kick in the gut. It is, I'd be lying if I said it, I didn't think about it. Yeah, it's, it does play on my mind. We're not doing as much as we used to. Nowhere is doing as much as they used to anymore. It's just not the same. I've been in this place so long. It's, it, this is my first job, and it's still my current job. I've, had, I've done other stuff in between, but it's basically been my working career thus far. And like, it would just be really heartbreaking just to know like all those years just gone. Um, gutted, scared, um, angry. Uh, yeah, I think that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>